Dear students, in previous topic, we were learning about the four major domains of the earth, where we learn in detail about the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Let's learn more about the next domain, that is biosphere. What is biosphere? The narrow zone of contact where land, water and air come into contact with each other is known as biosphere. Now, importance of biosphere. Children, biosphere is as important for us as other domains of the earth. If we see all the living beings exist only in this biosphere. It is because of this biosphere that makes our Earth planet as a unique planet in the solar system. In this biosphere, we find a variety of living beings that range from humans, plants and even microorganisms. This great variety of life found in the biosphere is known as biological diversity or biodiversity. Children, the inhabitants or the living beings that we find in the biosphere can be classified into two groups. One is animal kingdom and the another is plant kingdom and both the animal and plant kingdom are interdependent on each other the animal and plant life that we find in the biosphere vary from place to place this is mainly because of the differences in physical environment let's quote some example children if we see desert region, there we find different animal and plant life because the physical environment is totally different. That is, there we find extreme hot climatic conditions, extremes of temperatures, scanty of rainfall, sandy soils, and we find there different animal and plant life also. And one more example, if we take polar regions, again there we find extreme cold climatic conditions and the animal and plant life also vary there. See, the equatorial regions, hot and humid climatic conditions we find there throughout the year and heavy rainfall occurs there. Due to that, we find there luxurious growth of plants and animals. So children, we can say that biosphere is made up of distinct zones, each having its own physical and biological environment. And these are called as ecosystems. And in every ecosystem, there is an interaction between the abiotic and biotic components in the transfer of energy. They are linked to each other in the transfer of energy and matter. In every ecosystem, there is a perfect balance in the transfer of energy and matter among the different components in the biosphere. This is known as ecological balance. Children, in every ecosystem, there is a perfect balance in the transfer of energy and matter. But sometimes when more energy and matter goes to an ecosystem, that time ecosystem fails to function properly. Or we can say the ecological balance has got disrupted. And disruption of the ecological balance is mainly caused by the interference of human beings. Human beings transfer 
in abundance the energy and matter into an ecosystem due to which an ecosystem fails to function properly so children this was all about the four major domains of the earth children let us now discuss more about the human environment what is human environment human environment is formed by the human beings their creations and their activities and the conditions in which they live human beings are the only living beings in the environment that they have changed or altered the environment or we can say human beings are the only living beings in the environment who have modified their environment to fulfill their needs or to fulfill all their demands from the environment children let us compare that in earlier times human beings were totally dependent on the environment but all the human beings in earlier times got their basic needs directly from the natural environment but with the passage of time the needs and the demands of the human beings increased because to fulfill these demands human beings have modified environment due to their various activities like human beings do farming we do lumbering we do mining activities and we do constructional activities in the environment we cut down the forests and we built the roads railways airports so these are such activities because of that our environment has got degraded not only degraded because of these human activities the ecological balance in every ecosystem or in ecosystems has got disrupted children we need to be very careful and sensitive to take care of our environment children be sensitive about your surroundings as well not about your home not only about your school that you try to keep it clean no children see around in your surroundings find what makes our environment degraded what makes our environment polluted find out the solutions and start campaigning about these environmental problems that we face in today's world children it is our primary duty to save our environment so children this was all about the topic our environment now children let us see you in next video lecture with new topic till then goodbye and thank you all